What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake. You're watching Jay-Z Polls. Um, you're definitely looking at a completely different setup. Obviously, it's all Pokemon, and you guys are used to watching sports cards on this channel. But over the last couple of months, uh, I've been collecting cards with my roommate who's here now. Um, so you might hear him moving around the room a little bit. But uh, him and I have just been opening Pokemon cards like crazy. Uh, we've you know grown up loving it uh, our entire childhood. And now that it's become you know really big over the last couple of years... Uh, it's, you know, it's something that we both look forward to every single time we go to Target or Walmart and, you know, get packs. It's, it's always fun to, uh, rip things open, but obviously, you know, a couple of things to showcase here, just, you know, on display, um, a couple of really nice cards that I've, you know, added over the last year. Uh, it's been a long time since I uploaded. I'm back at school now up at Quinnipiac University in Connecticut. So I'm, you know, really happy to be here, but I have something really special for you guys today. Um, we're going to be opening the brand new set of uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield Evolving Skies. Um, I did purchase two of these um, from ToyWiz in Nanuet, New York. Uh, you can go visit them at toywiz.com and you can also, also visit their store in uh, Nanuet, New York. Uh, they gave me two really, really good prices on these boxes and uh, you know I had to pick up two. So we're gonna be opening just one today. Uh, my roommate Jeff also picked up two boxes as well, so he's gonna open one, but uh, I think we're gonna save our second boxes for a little bit of a uh, challenge video. So without further ado, um, the brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Evolving Sky set. Uh, I mean, it, I think today is, yeah, today's Saturday, so it literally just came out yesterday. Um, I've had this product since Thursday, just because I got it a day early, which is great. Um, and the temptation to open this box for the last two days has just been extremely overwhelming. So here we go. Let's get this underway. Um, obviously, a lot of you guys... I'm just going to grab like a screwdriver or something. Obviously, a lot of you guys have uh, gotten your hands on this product, obviously, since it came out yesterday. Um, I've seen a couple of people pull some really, really nice cards on Twitter, Instagram, you know, whatever you may use all different types of social media platforms everybody's been pulling you know obviously a couple of the big ones the ev alternate art what the rayquaza alternate art uh there's a couple of really really nice secret rares as well that i'll you know show up on the screen obviously so you guys could see what we're after today um any of the evolutions are really big cards even some of the v's are uh you know going for something and uh the full arts are you know something to look after so it's uh it's gonna be a really really exciting break obviously we have 36 packs um wow they look fantastic i've this actually believe it or not my first ever booster box um you know since uh you know we've only just been going to target and walmart everything we've been grabbing is just retail so it'll be really exciting um obviously nothing guaranteed but you know you are expecting um a couple of things out of a booster box i'll uh, show you guys the art one more time but uh, you're expecting a couple of things out of a booster box. Um, you definitely want to get at least a secret rare, a uh, few full arts, and uh, you know you just want you want to be able to make your money back. Um, but overall, this is going to be a really fun. Rip 36 packs. We got a lot to packs. Excuse me, a lot of packs to get through. Um, you know, looking for white code cards. If I see a green code card, I might just you know just show the pack. But uh, if the code card is white, I will slow reveal it. So let's get underway here. Pokemon. I mean, you guys look at all the videos on my channel and uh, only see sports cards. So we have a green back, so we'll just quickly show the cards. Um, obviously, I'll run through a little bit just to show you guys what the art looks like. Um, obviously, the base set. I think it's I think it's a pretty big base set. Um, you know, bigger than some have been in the past. Here is our rare, a uh, Fletchender Reverse Holographic. But... Uh, it's just, it's really exciting to get a new set. And obviously they already had announced a new set coming out in November. I don't know the name of it, but I'll show it up on the screen. And, uh, you know, they always give you something to look forward to at the end of the day. So it's exciting. It really is exciting to uh, get new product and, you know, open this stuff up for you guys and ho hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, another green back. So, you know, I just show the card. I obviously have a Cryogonal. Reverse rare, uh, a couple other things. I won't really go into a lot of detail with all the base cards. Obviously, you guys are watching this video to see me pull some heat, and that's what I want to do is pull some heat. And, you know, if the cards aren't going to be good to start off, we're just going to, you know, go through them. So here's a white code card. Um, I think it's four from the back. And then we will reveal the last card. All right, so Leaf Energy. All right. Pyroar. 
Scroll of the Forge. That's a nice card. Scroll of the Forge Dragon, Ursaring, Bergmite, Roggenrola, Flebebe, Swablu, Litleo. I believe, yep, the next cards are rare. Sharpedo and a Salamence uh, Holographic. So not a bad card to uh, start off our first hit. Um, hopefully you guys like the new mat. I got it at the uh, Pokemon store in New York City. So I uh, had to pick that up for the channel, but our first hit is a, I'll, uh, I'll put all the white code cards here just to, uh, you know, see how many actual hits we got, but I will not be showing the codes at the end of the channel because I actually do play the game, uh, believe it or not. So that is something you guys will not be able to get. I'm sorry. Um, all right. So here we go. Another white code card, four from the back, uh, lightning. Okay. I guess I'm just going to show the card because it's right there. Well, I slipped it. Okay. Here we go. Floet and a Garbodor V. So obviously you're going to get these. Um, you know, these are very inexpensive cards at this point. You know, a lot of people aren't really looking to collect these, but I will put that in our uh, temporary, I guess, quote unquote, hit pile. But come on, show us some, show us some love here. Out of one of these booster boxes, I want to pull something at least decent. First holographic of the Russian Hypno. Look at this card. I mean, just taking a squat there. Just iconic. Okay. Um, but it's uh, it's Pokemon. I mean, everybody's into it now. Um, I've been into it for a long time, obviously, playing the games. Gigalith, reverse holographic out of that pack. You know, I started off playing Pokemon Black, I believe. And, you know, the legendary, obviously, Zekrom and Reshiram uh, Resh in that set really really got me into pokemon and i've just been collecting pretty much ever since i think 2007 was the first set of cards that I opened so here we go all right water energy nuzleaf golduck rubber gloves phoebus hitmonchan slack off i don't even know how to pronounce that pikachu stoutland and a metacham v so again those are expected obviously that's not what you are looking for but those are expected another white code card here we are hashtag streaking one two three four come on guys shine tap the shiny orange guru for luck just tap it all right okay here we go i'm actually gonna hold them like this uh floette boost shake shell gone zero Zorua, Hopip, Dano, Mareep, Tentacruel, and a, oh, that's not bad, actually. A Kiram, is that? I think that, yeah, just a uh, holographic. So not bad. Kiram's it. Very, very cool looking legendary. So I will not really complain with that. Um, my room is about 450,000 degrees since, you know, it's a suite with uh, five other people, so... Uh, four from the back. Oh, don't look at that. Don't look at that. All right, if somebody takes that, whatever. Oh, wait, did I did I mess that up? Uh, oh, wait. Ooh, I think we have a VMAX. Okay, here we go. Uh, as well as Gordy. Jesus Christ, I am not good at this. Um, get that out of the way. Okay. Gordy. I'll just do it the traditional way. Super Leaf Bridge. There's our energy. Carvana. Dwebble. Mareep. Drowsy. Scraggy, and our first, I would say, good hit is going to be a, ooh, see? All right, here we go. So a standard VMAX, but obviously one of the better cards you could pull in terms of the VMAX set, a Rayquaza VMAX. Um, that is a gorgeous looking card. Get it on the light a little bit, um, but that is a very, very nice card to pull, especially for our quote unquote guaranteed VMAX. So very, very nice card there. All right, so we got Rayquaza all uh, sleeved and top loaded. So very, very nice hit there. I will put that off to the side. The, uh, excuse me, the uh, Vs are not deserving of sleeves. Oh my God. Ugh. But that is, uh, they'll, they'll get sleeves, but not right now. I'm, I'm too focused on, you know, getting actual good pulls. So moving on. All right, here we go. Okay. A green code card. See, look, 
Green code card, bam, nothing. Hey, a full face card. Just the way it is. I mean, if you guys don't aren't familiar with how packs work, um, the green code card pretty much just signifies that you just aren't gonna get anything. And it is what it is, but once you see that, it's kind of just like a demoralizing way of saying, hey, you didn't get anything. Just like, it's like, I don't know, a green, there we go, there's, there's a white one. Uh, if, if you want to put it into a uh, sports perspective, a green code card is like, you know, getting a thick pack of any set or whatever and pulling a, uh, like a dummy, like a, uh, uh, whatever, whatever they call those things, like the cardboard fillers. All right, here we go. Fighting energy, rescue carrier, crystal cave. This would be a great secret rare to pull. Um, I, again, a secret rare would be great. All right. Uh, love disc, C dot, slack off. Um, is that our? Okay, here we go. Boldor and oh, there's a full art. Okay, I don't know who it is yet. Here we go. Full art of. Ooh. So, okay, so there we go. See, we're already doing well in terms of uh, the actual Pokemon themselves, but a Dragonite full art is a very, very nice card to pull. Um, and these these cards get looked over sometimes really, really much because I opened up. I forget what. Uh, Oh, God, there go my sleeves. Hang on one second. Sorry about that, but um, got the Dragonite all in the proper treatment. Looks good now. Um, but, yeah, like I said, full arts, they're they're really, really good-looking cards because they just showcase the entire Pokemon, and they usually feature a very, very nice tie-dye design in the background. So, good start. Um, our two non-Vs have been... I would say immaculate and we're not even through the first stack yet. So long way to go. i um, hoping I get a loaded box, but <sighs> beggars cannot be choosers guys. So it just, yeah, I mean the thing about Pokemon is like, you know, and I, I explained that this to my roommate because he's been loving it for a long, long time thing about pokemon is that if you want to if you want to open cards just to make your money back pokemon is not the way to do it um i think a lot of pokemon collectors are really just looking for you know specific pokemon you know in a set like i'd say battle styles where the premier pokemon was urshifu it it wasn't really that attractive to uh to the audience because they want to pull the pokemons and the Ra uh, the pokemons the pikachus and the rayquazas and the evolutions you know the starters and all that so it's it's tough to, to make your money back if you don't pull the right card. So here we go. Vigoroth and another V of Suicune. Oh, very nice. Always good to pull a legendary, even if it's just the V. Um, but uh, yeah, so again, I mean, the fact that Pokemon is so fun to rip is why, you know, I open it. And that's really it. I mean, it's, it's just worth the money in that aspect where if you're opening packs of anything to have fun, Goodbye, Crustle. Um, but uh, if you're opening packs to just have fun, this is this is the, this is the uh, the cards you want to get. You want to get Pokemon because in sports you can strike out really really bad, and not have <laughs> Jeff is throwing the uh, what 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 Pokemon was that Jeff? Crustle. Crustle, yeah. Crustle just did a somersault across my room. Um, it's just a fun rep. You, this is something to have fun with and, uh, you know, enjoy opening in front of your friends, whatever it may be. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. And our, oh, is a jump bluff. Rare. Okay. So, our uh, our two highlights right now are, are carrying that first stack. I believe that was the end of the first stack. Um, I don't know. The uh, camera will pick that up better than I will. But still hopefully anticipating uh maybe one or two more full arts maybe another v max a secret rare a shiny rare whatever you call it whatever those are called oh, rainbow rare remember there's the bergmite oh god sorry about that this camera just absolutely collapsed on me all right moving along here i've been recording for 16 minutes so i'm actually doing pretty good in terms of pace but uh the poles are not there nick it reverse hollow okay so yeah i mean again with pokemon 
it's just been a lot of fun opening so much of it over the last couple of weeks. And uh, it's something that if you're just looking to get cards and pull really, really cool stuff every now and then, like these two that I've gotten, um, this is what you should be getting. And sports cards are really expensive. I mean, don't get me wrong, a hundred and somewhat dollars for you know a box of cards for any product is steep for a lot of people. But you know, in terms of look, comparing it to sports cards and everything, it's just it's it's crazy to even compare the two because of how expensive some boxes of cards get. I think the newest version of National Treasures. Uh, all right, well, if you need a code card, there it is. I think the uh, um, newest version of National Treasures basketball is just close to like three thousand dollars. It's insane. All right, here we go. Our next card up is a Victini holographic so need to pick it up here um i can't say we're doing necessarily bad but because i'm happy you know with our with our two big hits so far but we got some stuff we got some ground to make up guys i want to uh get some good stuff here hopefully that uh stretch of green code cards was uh our last stretch so here we go another white code card our psychic energy Lucky Ice Pop. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Tentacruel, Palpitoad, Nicket, Dwebble, Rufflet, Rog and Rolla, Wobbuffet, a Gordy Reverse Holographic, and a Full Art. Okay. See? See? Okay. Okay, we're back. Um, Wow. So we are just killing it right now. Uh, two Rayquazas and a Dragonite Full Art. That is honestly more than i could even ask for just in terms of the actual pokemon you want to get i mean I, I don't know what the full art list looks like i'm not gonna lie i'll put it up on the screen but the arctivish full art is a card that i really really want to get just because it's hilarious looking it's coming straight for you it's just a funny card and i want to pull it so cannot complain with what we've gotten so far our next pull is a regid i don't even know regidrago I don't know. Some of these Pokemon are getting confusing to say. After uh, after Gen 4, I really really have not familiarized myself with a lot of the uh, a lot of the Pokemon I've released. All right, here we go. Closing in on our last few packs here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Um, it's just so much fun, you know, just opening this many packs. Like I said, it's it's a really really fun rip. It's good for the price because I mean, for Pokemon the booster box is the best thing that you can get you know i'd so much rather open one booster box than open you know 50 or 60 blister packs you know because you're gar you're guaranteed something in a booster box you're not guaranteed something if you just individually open you know 50 or 60 blister packs so if you want to make your money back these are the best way uh, this is the best way to do it so jump off reverse rare and a zorark uh rare or hollow whatever you want to call it but this is still new to me. I mean, this is my first, you know, Pokemon opening on the channel and my first ever booster box that I've ever opened. Um, I think the most expensive thing that I opened was when I first started collecting. I uh, ripped open, I just remember it. I don't have it now, but I ripped open a Torterra tin and uh, those are going for a lot of money right now, fully sealed. So an Ice Cube reverse holographic here we have let's just do a little timeout for a second we have one two three four five we have ten packs remaining um still looking for a secret rare still looking for maybe another full R or two a rainbow rare would be fantastic as well so come on fletchling yes yes fletchling all right okay um one two three four um all right let's let's do a little bit of a of a uh i guess bam nope a salamence with uh i thought there was it looked like there was damage on it but wanted to see if i could do some uh rapid fire magic there but all right whatevs i do have another booster box to open so be on the lookout for that guys like i said it's going to be a challenge video against my roommate jeff and uh that should be fun so an applin just i mean I don't, what is he doing what is he looking at the water or is he thirsty 
Would you play that card? Would you play that card? No. I wouldn't either. Just roll out. Okay. At least it's only one energy. I actually familiarized myself with playing the uh, actual trading card game because I play online and, you know, that's very, very... I think that's ex like the exact same thing in comparison to, you know, online and whatever. So, all right, here we go. Fighting Energy, Elemental Badge, Shelgon, Swoobat, Dano, Teddy Ursa, Phoebus, Hopip, Hitmonchan, a Reverse Rare of Slackoff, and a V of Golurk. All right, so no alternate arts. Oh, that's the other thing, too. You definitely want to pull those as well as my roommate gets into his booster box. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he is ripping his open right now with his bear claws. Um, love disc and a... Oh, that's nice. Galarian Articuno. Uh, reverse holographic. I'll put that. I'll put that in the hit pile. Why not? We need something, because honestly, if I uh, if I were to stop this right now, this would not be a above average box. But let's hope we can uh, turn that around within these last three packs. So here we go, white code card, big time. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Um, shout out Leonard. Let's go lightning. Nope. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ah, <sighs> digging gloves. Uh, Palpatode. Crustle, Scraggy, wait. Bagon, Woobat, Timpole, Psyduck, come on. Under the Love Disc is a Zygarde. Holographic, okay. All right. Um, oof, this is, uh, this is getting me a little nervous. Two packs to go. I want a big hit. Come on. Give me something. White code card. Here we go. Flat on the ground. One, two, three, four. And a leaf energy. Abelug, Ribbon Badge, Zwellius, Eevee, Tim Pole, Cutie Fly, Applin, Sableye, Azorork as our reverse holographic, and oh, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Oh, please. Oh, please. Ooh, okay. That's not too bad. A uh, Lycanroc VMAX um, Rainbow Rare. Obviously not the Pokemon you're looking for, but like I said, I cannot complain getting a Rainbow Rare. They're very, very nice looking cards and uh, obviously a, a pretty tough card to pull. So a Lycanroc VMAX Rainbow Rare. Very, very satisfied with that. Let me uh, quickly get that sleeved up. All right, so... Got it all protected here. Um, again, not the Pokemon you're looking for, but still a very, very nice and clean looking card. So last pack to go. I mean, this would be incredible if we pulled something here. This would be incredible. I, I thought, honestly, when I, uh, when I looked at that top of that card, I was hoping it would be that Leafeon alternate art where he's a VMAX and he's like pushing along a yarn or not yarn uh, i think it's i don't know it's what is it jeff hey bale. hey bell okay thanks all right come on oh, man really green code card to end it a uh rescue carrier um reverse holographic so that's it um here's our gigantic stack of uh cards here i will here's what i'll do i will give i will give these away like it's to me to me I, I just don't collect a lot of the uncommons and rares um but if you comment your favorite card from the video in the comment section below i will randomly select one of those comments and send you guys uh some of the better pulls from this box but uh let's just do a quick little recap of our four best pulls. Obviously, you guys just saw the Lycan Rock VMAX Rainbow Rare. Very, very nice looking card there. Uh, probably our best pull, the Rayquaza, the Rayquaza Full Art. Um, this is just a gorgeous looking card. Probably the best full art that you can pull in terms of just basic full art. Love that. 
a drag as my roommates get back but a, a dragonite v full art very very nice and then a rayquaza v max which is a very very sharp looking pull so i hope you guys enjoyed um just be on the lookout for a bunch of videos coming up i have uh two elite trainer box coming i will not spoil what they are going to be and uh after that i will uh, keep you guys updated and let you guys know what we're going to be opening next on the channel so just a little bit uh zygarde holographic ente hollow galarian articuno reverse holographic and then our golurk suicune metachan and garbodor v so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, stay tuned for more videos in the future. I have a lot of things to look forward to for you guys to enjoy. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.